Hi, this is Ben Ivy, the Fulfillment Artist. And in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to be happy in life. And there's a couple of things that I'm gonna go through in this video, and I've listed a ton of different stuff which you can implement. But the first thing we're gonna do is everything that I did wrong with trying to be happy. Then I'm gonna tell you to stop doing a bunch of things which is stopping making you happy. And then we're gonna move on, move, move on? Wow. We're gonna move on to everything that you need to do in order to be happy. So the first things first, what are all my mistakes with being happy? Well, the first thing is, um, I had a goal to be happy in life, and then I did it. I was happy every single day, and I didn't feel any other emotions, and it was the worst time ever. Why? Because I was a robot. I wouldn't allow myself to feel any other emotions. Because I was so good at neurolinguistic programming that I could program myself to be happy. So even if something bad happened, I would switch it, and I wouldn't allow myself to feel emotions. Now, there's a difference between reframing something and reframing everything so you wouldn't allow yourself to feel anything. So you need to make sure that that's not what you're doing with your life. Like, don't be unrealistically happy. Because the truth is, you, you don't just want to be happy. You want to be excited, you want to be in love, you want to be courageous, you want to have all these other emotions. And often, often, when people think of happiness, they just think of this one thing, right? You want to be looking at a combination of all these positive emotions that will really give you a truly fulfilled life. Right? And in essence, what you're searching for when happy is you're looking for fulfillment, right? Not just an emotion. Now with that said, let's move on to the things that are stopping you being happy. Stop taking yourself so seriously. Stop it. People care so much what others think. And we think, oh, well, no, I've got to do this, I've got to do that. Who cares? It's not the end of the world. Do you know how long your life is? Like in the equivalent, it's like a grain. Your life happens like that. And you care so much what everyone thinks. Just stop it. They're too busy caring what you think about them. You were there and when we feel that we have to take ourselves so seriously, chill out, just relax. Stop taking yourself so seriously. Take a deep breath and say, you know what? Life is life. Everyone's meant to be imperfect anyway. And just keep moving forward and progressing. Next, stop putting so much pressure on yourself. Do you know how many people I have to work with that put more pressure on than anything else? They do just heaps and heaps and heaps and heaps of pressure. Just chill out. Remove all these crap expectations. Because all this pressure is coming from all these expectations. So just stop putting pressure on. Remove the expectations. Trade them for gratitude. Know what you're grateful for. Put pressure on yourself with systems. But only a little bit of pressure. Don't put too much that you get overwhelmed. This is why people burn out. And enjoy your day. Remember that most people focus on the destination. And they forget that it's all about the journey. Stop spending time with negative people. Just stop it. If you have got negative people in your life, they go. Right? Now, there are some people that you're always going to have in your life, and that's okay, but just stop spending as much time with them. But having negative people just drains your soul. Like, would you, would you go watch the same shit movie over and over and over again? Because even with negative people, they're just draining your energy over and over and over and over again. And you work it up, they take it away. They work it up, they take it away. The sad thing is, is you will start to become like them. Unconsciously and consciously. So stop spending time with negative people. Next, funnily enough, is stop holding on to negativity. Now let me give you an example of this. We need to imagine that this, okay, is you, right? And you're holding this bottle. Now how heavy is the bottle if I go like this? It's not heavy, right? Once if I hold this for a week, right? It's uncontrollably heavy. But this is what people do with their emotions every single day. Something bad happens and they hold on to this negativity and they bring it with them and they have all this baggage of negative emotions that they're carrying around instead of letting it go. So stop holding on to the negativity. Let it go and move on. Next, stop bragging how hard you work. Oh, I work 20 hours. Oh, I work till weekend. Oh, I work 80 hours a week. So, stop bragging about it. It's not cool. I know, I used to be like, oh yeah, well, you know, I work this much. It doesn't matter how hard you work. It just means you, perhaps you're very unproductive and you don't really know what you're doing and you're just spending time on things that really don't matter. So instead, just stop it. Stop saying you're fine. Do you know what fine is? Freaked out, insecure, neurotic, and emotional. 
That's basically what you're saying. So stop. You're not fine. Don't say fine. Say how you're really feeling. Oh, not bad. Not bad is another one. Stop that too. And actually express how you're feeling. You know, I'm actually feeling, I'm feeling amazing. I'm feeling wonderful. No, I'm not feeling as great as usual. Right, but be honest and allow yourself to feel things instead of just fine, 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 fine. Stop being fine. No one's fine. Stop judging people. This is really important because people that judge others often feel that people judge them, but they're actually the biggest judges. So you need to stop judging every single person that comes into your life. Because you just judge and judge and judge. Stop judging them and just accept everyone for who they are. And then maybe you can allow yourself to relax and stop feeling judged by others. And the last one of this is stop being busy. Life is too short to be busy. People that say they're busy clearly have no time management skills. Clearly. Because if you're busy, right, it, you, you could give someone 30 hours in a day, they'll still be busy. If you give them 50 hours in a day, they'll still be busy. Busy, 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 busy. Until what? You look down the line and then you're like, oh shit, I was busy for two years. What did you do? Nothing. It just worked. What a waste of life. If you want to be happy, stop being busy. Work on saying, I'm, you know, I'm not busy. I've been working hard. Just remove busy. And I think that's a fantastic way to move forward. Remember, the, the, these are, this is just a piece of advice. You don't have to take everything, but I would suggest taking the things that mean the most to you. So now we're going to be moving on to what you should be doing instead. Be your unapologetically weird self. Now, what do, we, what do I mean by this? Well, I, I read the other day about being your unapologetically weird self. And I think that is brilliant. Because everyone is weird. Another quote I like is, everyone's normal until you get to know them. I mean, everyone is weird. Everyone has, has their quirks. So instead, just embrace that part about you. Embrace the fact that you're a freak. We're all freaks. And be you, who you really are. And it will make you a more attractive person. It will, it will make you feel better. And the only person that you can really be is you. Everyone else is taken. So be your unapologetically self. Unapologetically weird self every single day. Next, do something new. Do new things. Take a new route. Often we're, we're stuck in the same routine every single day. Put your socks on the other way. Instead of putting right to left or, left to, or do left to right. Instead of putting, putting your right arm through your shirt first, put your left arm through your shirt. Do something new. Go to a new restaurant. Go to a new place. Life is full of new experiences if you search for them. So get out of your routine and do something new. Travel more. Traveling is incredibly important and it opens our mind. Just travel to different places and you don't have to spend much. You, I've, I've hitchhiked before and it was one of the most incredible experiences ever. And obviously it depends where you are in the world, but you know, really do things differently and you can be really smart about it. You know, spend some time with other people in different parts of the world. It will help open your mind. It will make you be happy. You'll be grateful for everything that you have. It's, it's a fantastic way to be happy. Exercise more. Exercising is incredibly important. Some of us forget about this. Day to day, we're just here, cramped over, working, tapping away. Your body is created for exercise. Right? Your body is your temple. Right? Use it. Right? Work it out. You've only got one body and it's easy to screw up. So exercise it, and it will help you feel better. You, you would just feel so much better if you exercise. So just, if you're not exercising, you need to do it. Go to the gym three times a week, do aerobic exercise twice a week, do, do a bunch of different stuff, but exercise in however best you want. Laugh more. Laughing is incredible. People need a, when I say stop taking yourself too seriously, you should laugh at yourself more too. Laugh at your mistakes, just have fun. Like humor is such a great asset. Just laugh at things, wow, I mean, my day could not be worse. This is the funniest thing ever. And, and, and just like that, right? Use humor to help you through life. It's a fantastic tool. Laugh with your friends more. Allow yourself to laugh uncontrollably. And yeah, just, just have more fun. Next, spend more time with friends and family. It's one of the top five regrets of the dying is, you know, I wish I'd spend more time with my friends and family. Really enjoy the moments that you have. Oh, so, something that I read, this is, this is really, really interesting. After the age of 21, You've already spent about 95% of your time with your family. What? Well, think about it. When you're younger, you spend every single day. And then as you get older, you may not see them as much, things like that. So you've only got 5% left. That is a crazy amount of time. And some of us take that for granted. To spend more time with family and friends, you definitely won't regret it. 
Next, read more. There's so many crap TV shows that are literally meant to be addictive. Read more. You know, people have literally written their entire lives into books and you can digest them, you can listen to them. Right? However it is that you want, but reading more helps open your mind, it helps you understand the world. And instead of Googling everything, you can actually you know, understand. Like Books are so much higher quality than articles. So much, because people have put effort, time in. I mean, this is generally speaking, but I'm telling you now, like maybe 1% of the articles that I read are really better than a book, 1%. Everything else, books win hand down. Listen to books, read books, whatever it is, but just allow yourself to be exposed to those new resources. Next, be content with what you have. Most people want all these different things, they want that, they want that, just be content, be grateful for what you have. And that moves me on to my next point, which is daily gratitude. You should be doing gratitude daily, 100%, no matter who you are. Three things you're grateful for every single day. Why? Because it will program your mind to think in abundance instead of scarcity. If you want to be happy, you've got to be happy where you are. The goal is not to be happy. right? As in, oh, well, when I get there, then I'll be happy. When I have the car, then I'll be happy. When I do this, then I'll be happy. No, the aim is to be happy now. Because that way you can move forward. And be grateful for everything you get along the way. Next, journal. Journaling is really important because often we get so stuck in our heads. Externalize it through a journal. Keep a, a journal, you know, you do it at night, do it whenever, but just allow your thoughts to come out because that's going to really help you move forward in a way that is very different to other people who keep everything inside their heads. Externalize it, allow yourself to think. That would be a great way just to like sort of replenish yourself and remove yourself from a lot of the clutter that's in your mind. Next, be present. So what I mean by this, like be present when you do stuff. When you're with family, don't be thinking about other things. Like actually be there and enjoy the moments. When you are watching TV, actually watch TV, don't be on your phone. Like actually enjoy it. Like don't don't switch back and forth. Like be present. Like when you eat food, this is a huge one. When I when I eat food now, I stop like you know checking things on my phone or like doing other things. Like I've actually just ate food. And it's so weird. Like sometimes People finish a meal and they forget to actually taste the thing in the meal. Like, like it's happened before, you've gone like that and you've gone, where the hell did we go? Like, what, what, what? So instead, really focus and be present in each moment. Now this will take time to do, but the more you do it, the better you're gonna feel. Next, buy things you really need. Stop buying, oh, I'm buying it because it's a good price, because it's a good sale. Everyone knows they up the price and then they drop it. It's probably about 20 quid, then they up it to 50 and then they say it's discounted for 19. What? No. Just instead buy the things you really need. Because that way you'll appreciate it so much more instead of cluttering your life. Next, funnily enough, is simplify. Simplify is incredibly important. Now why do you need to do this? Because most of us have such hectic things and we have so much going on. Just simplify your life. Simplify it down. Simplify how much you do. Simplify your days. What you expect of yourself, your wardrobe. We're in information overload, so simplify. Delete all the crap apps you have. Delete all the news things you're on. Right? Simplify it, and it will allow you to live such a happier life on your terms instead of everyone else's. Next, do the things that you love. Do the things you love to do. I'll give you an example. I love playing games from time to time. Like I really enjoy the competitive element, bonding with friends, doing that. There's a time where I was like, you can't do that, you can't do that, you can't do that. But it came to me, Recently, they're like, it's a part of you that you love, right? Do it. And I can't tell you how much joy I have just from like the odd time to time. And it's just a release. So like, what is it that you really love? Perhaps you're not doing as much of. Do it more. And then you'll have a fantastic life because you're actually feeding that happiness instead of suppressing it. Next, smile at people. And just smile in the day in general. Often, you know, we're, we're so, we're so like, in our heads and focused on us, smile at others. Do you know how much a big difference it makes when someone smiles at you and they smile back and they're like, oh, that guy was friendly, how very nice. And it literally changes people's days. So smile at someone a day. And it makes a huge difference. Next, forgive people. Life's too short to hold grudges. Just forgive people, because the only people that's really upset is, is you and you stay upset and then you're in a shitty state and you can't help anyone else. Just forgive people, live and move on. Like whatever it is, okay, they made a mistake, Like. 
there's no point holding on to all this negativity and all this like anger. Let it go, forgive in whatever way you feel right and allow yourself to move on. This is a huge one. It's something to really think, think about and consider. Next, get a mentor or a coach, someone that can help guide you along the way. Some people that can ask the right questions, help you move forward. I can't tell you how invaluable it is. And often people say it, but you don't do anything about it. Go get one. Like, ask someone to be your mentor. Literally message them. You know, get a coach as well. Coaches are fantastic to help you move forward. Or like, whatever it is that you need in your life, like having someone that's already done it is so helpful to help you know that you're on track, to ask you the right questions, to say that everything's gonna be okay. And sometimes that is one of the best things you can possibly have in your life. So look into that and get people that can really, you know, understand you and who've lived life and can show you. And at least then you won't be, you know, so worried and stressed out. Next, spend time in nature. Often we're in concrete jungles instead of spending time out in nature. It's amazing the miracles that we have around us. Spend time in nature, really ground yourself. Go for a walk for half an hour. When was the last time you did that? Oh no, I'm too busy to go for a walk. Go for it. Honestly, I think you'll find it really fascinating. Don't bring your phone, don't bring anything, just walk for half an hour. Walk for as long as you like and just see how you feel after. You'll feel so much more grounded, centered. It's amazing what can happen when you give yourself that space. And the last one, probably the most important, be. Just be. You're a human being, not a human doing. And just allow yourself to be in every moment. And remember, you know, it, it's a real choice, like whether you want to do these things or not. Let me give you a quote by Albert Einstein to finish. There are two ways to live. You can live as if nothing is a miracle. Or you can live as if everything is a miracle. And there are so many miracles all around us. And it's up to you whether you allow yourself to see the miracles or not. So make your life a masterpiece. Have an incredible life. Make yourself happy. Like write down all the points that you think you need to work on. And have a very, very happy, fulfilled life. I'll speak to you very soon.